10 Google Chrome flags you can't live without. Secret Chrome settings that will blow your mind. Really though? Chrome flags, as Google states in red lettering, are experimental features that aren't officially part of the browser, but also kind of are, if you just enable them. But that of course is not entirely true, because a number of those quote unquote hidden features are actually default features by now, and the reason they're still listed on the flags page is for opt-out purposes. The flags can also be used to manually turn off some features in the case that they become unstable or if a user simply doesn't want them. In this video, I'm going to show you some that I think are useful and also kind of cool. To open the flags page, you're going to need to type chrome colon slash slash flags in the address bar and hit enter. And we'll start off with tab hover card images. In order to locate this particular flag, we will simply search for it by name in the search box, and that's how we're going to be locating all the flags from here on. By default, Chrome allows you to see an info pop-up whenever you hover your mouse cursor over a tab, However, the pop-ups don't include image previews, and that's where tab hover card images come into play. If you enable this flag, whenever you hover over a tab, Chrome will give you a little preview of the content it contains. And unfortunately, the previews do not appear to update in real time, but still, if you're into this kind of thing, it's pretty cool. Oh yeah, and every single time you enable, disable, or make any changes to a flag, you're going to have to relaunch Chrome in order for the changes to take effect. Back and forward cache is a flag that enables instant back and forward navigation across eligible web pages. This is possible because the browser stores a temporary snapshot of the page, which gets retrieved from memory as you click back or forward. Now, this is a feature that has been supported in both desktop and mobile versions of Firefox and Safari for quite some time now, as well as Chrome for Android, starting from versions 86 and 87. On the other hand, in the desktop version of Chrome, it comes as sort of a hidden feature that you have to enable on the flags page. Okay, this is one that has been giving me mixed results, but I'm going to include it in the video anyway. Parallel downloading is a flag that, according to its description, accelerates your download speeds, and this should be mostly noticeable when downloading large files. Now, in theory, it should be very useful, however, during my test with the flag set to default, enabled and disabled, the download speeds have been sort of all over the place. I wasn't able to find any technical notes, so I'm not really sure whether the varying results are due to changes that were possibly made to the way this functions or to network fluctuations on my own side of things. In any case, try it out for yourself. If it cuts down your download times, great. And if it doesn't, you can always just set it back to default. Here's one that I find extremely useful. Copy link to text is a flag that, when enabled, allows you to create links to pages with highlighted text. So let's say you're reading an article and you wanna share a specific sentence or a paragraph with a friend or colleague. With this flag enabled, you can select the text that you want to emphasize Right click and then click copy link to highlight and what that does is create a link to the page you're currently on but with the selected text highlighted. And that's for the desktop version of Chrome. You can also enable the same flag on Android and iOS but the flags are just named differently. So on Android it's called Chrome Share Text Highlights on Android and on iOS it's called Enable Shared Highlighting Features. Here's another way of sharing pages. Let's say you're reading an article on your desktop and you want to quickly open it on your phone. If you enable this flag, you can select the address bar and click on this little button to generate a QR code, which you can then simply scan with your phone in order to open the article on it. Reader mode is a great tool for stripping web pages of distractions like unwanted ads, links, banners, etc. By default, Google Chrome does not have this feature. However, you can easily get it by enabling the reader mode flag. If you do so, every time you visit an eligible page, you will have the option of viewing a simplified version of the page by clicking on the enter reader mode button, which you can find on the far right side of the address bar. With the reading list flag enabled, clicking on the bookmarks icon will also allow you to add an article to a reading list, which you can access in the top right corner. From there, you can mark the entries as read and or delete them once they're no longer needed. The flag is also available on Chrome for Android, and as for iOS, the reading list option is a standard feature, so no flag needed. Here's a flag just for Android users. Enabling incognito screenshots will allow you to take screenshots while using Chrome in incognito mode, just like you can by default in Chrome for iOS. It will also make it so that your incognito tabs are visible, so just something to have in mind, I guess. Yeah, watch your six. 
Unwanted ads can be annoying by themselves, but when they start significantly eating up system resources, they can have a much worse impact on your overall browsing experience. Enabling heavy ad intervention sets limits for the amount of resources an ad may use and unloads the ad if those limits are exceeded. So even though you might not notice it immediately, in the long run, enabling this flag should give you less ads and a smoother user experience. And you know what they say, good design is often about the things that most people don't even notice. And while we're saving resources, we'll finish it off with a data saving feature. Chrome's light video option simulates low bandwidth conditions by throttling media responses, thus allowing MSE players to lower the resolution of videos. It may sound a bit technical, but the most important thing to take from it is that you'll save precious data. You can take advantage of this feature by enabling the light videos flag, and you can also force the light video decision to be allowed on every navigation. So that would be all for today. Before I go, just a few quick reminders. First of all, Chrome flags can sometimes be unstable, but if you do start experiencing certain hiccups after you enable one, you can always revert its status to default. And more importantly, flags are not necessarily tested for security. So if you're concerned about any security and privacy issues, be sure to approach them with caution. And with that said, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay strong.